to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Gus. Gus is a 1976 theatrical release. It's directed by Vincent McEvity. Cinematography by Frank Phillips. Editing by Robert Stafford. It's written by Arthur Allsberg and Don Nelson. It's based off a story by Ted Key. The film stars Gary Grimes, Edward Asner, Don Knotts, Harold Gold, and Louise Williams. Gary Grimes is most known for Summer of 42, Cahill, the U.S. Marshal, The Spikes Gang. He was in a total of six films and then retired. Edward Asner is most known for The Mary Tyler Moore, show, Elf, and Up. He also has won seven Emmys. I talk all about Don Knotts in the video I made about the Apple Dumpling Gang, so if you want to learn all about him, the link will be in the description. Harold Gold is most known for the Golden Girls and Rhoda. He also goes on to play grandfathers in just about everything. Most notably, he is the grandfather in the 2003 Freaky Friday. Louise Williams is best known for Busting Loose and Super Friends. There is a lot going on in this movie, so I'm going to start off with this movie is Air Bud with football and a mule. The opening credits were properly funny. They were watching highlight reels of their players and past games, and uh, their players weren't great. And anytime one of the players messed up, the credits would start back up and the music would start back up and it became the punchline and it was really, really funny. Disney worked with the NFL for this movie, so the Green Bay Packers and the Eagles and a bunch of other NFL teams are in the film, as well as people who were influential in the NFL, like, Dick Butkus is in this movie. He was a famous bear. I'm from Chicago, so I was really excited. He plays the jealous boyfriend. Johnny Unitas, a very famous quarterback, was an announcer. Dick Enberg, who was an announcer, played an announcer. And then Bob Crane's in the movie, which he has nothing to do with the NFL, but it was another cameo that I was like, what the heck? And then Richard Keel is also in this movie in the tiniest little role. He just is like the tall man. That's literally his credit. But he's like the really tall, big dude in Happy Gilmore. He just like has a lot of like famous tall, big guy roles. It's just so weird how many little cameos were in this movie. Edward Asner plays the owner of the Los Angeles Adams and he's just so the classic 70s neurotic boss, like the cigar in his mouth, loose tie and absolutely losing his mind. It reminds me of Steve McCroskey in Airplane. I know that movie came out in 1980, gave it to me, it's so 70s and you know it. He's the airplane tower boss who's like absolutely losing his mind trying to get his plane to land. Uh, Perry White in Superman, he's always losing his dang mind. And then Mayor Larry in Jaws, he's freaking out. Like it's just so classic classic 70s neurotic boss and I loved it. Dick Von Patten is back again. He's always a villain's sidekick. It's ridiculous. He's in a ton of 70s Disney movies as well as Mel Brooks movies. He just owns the 70s. There are two mistakes in the film that I just wouldn't expect a studio to make. There's a flash frame of black in between two shots, which is absolutely a mistake. There's no way it's there on purpose. It's literally a flash frame of black in between two shots which means they just missed a frame um, connecting two pieces of film. I don't know how that happened and how it hasn't been fixed in 40 some years, almost 50 years. Like it's insane that it hasn't been fixed. Um, it's at about 57 minutes and 26 seconds. It's when Andy is trying to break out of the hospital room and Tim Conway is trying to keep him in the hospital room. It goes from Andy tying his ropes to Tim Conway. There is a flash of black screen um, for one frame. Absolutely, it's one frame, but that's a mistake I wouldn't expect Disney to make. And then the sound in the shower scene is horrendous. I cannot believe they didn't ADR that scene. Granted, their ADR still isn't the best, but I'm shocked they didn't ADR the shower scene. The sound was awful. There was a scene that had some skeleton uh, x-ray animation effects that was actually very cool. There's a scene where Dick Buckus's character goes to the drive-in looking for his girlfriend and the movie playing at the drive-in is a car chase from the Million Dollar Duck, which is hilarious. And then there's a scene in a Ralph's, which is a grocery store for those of you who don't know, and it is utter insanity. The scene's actually really funny. I wish it wasn't as long as it is, but it is a really funny scene and there is a ton of product placement in this scene. They didn't generically make anything. It was Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, like just brand upon brand, which I was shocked to see. Nabisco, Nestle, just like every brand imaginable was in this grocery store. Like they just kept the grocery store normal, I felt like. There's the Disneyland poster in the back. It was just pure insanity and it was a chase. So there's another chase. I don't know so much about a car chase. It's not really a car chase, 
A lot of foot chasing though. This movie is also very up and down. I love Andy's cute little romance with Debbie. It's adorable. And Andy's relationship with Gus is the best. His parents are awful and he's trying to prove himself to his parents, which is a cute little side storyline. And there is fun shenanigans that take place, but overall the movie isn't the best, but it is one of the better endings of one of these 70s movies I've seen. Cause a lot of endings, are just like not a great resolution or it's the resolution and then boom or it's not as climactic and exciting as you want it to be but this ending was so fun it wasn't what i expected it to be and it just there was a song that was totally epic during the last touchdown run and it was just such a fun end and it was one of the better endings i've seen during this 70s disney decade. Gus made $21 million in the box office, which is actually quite good. I had a fun time watching it. I laugh about it. I don't hate it. There were parts of it that weren't the best, but overall I had fun. I laughed. I'm going to give it like a six, I think, because it was fun. It was a fun movie. So I'm going to give it six mules out of 10. Our total movie count is... Parent that's all and cry counters are the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm gonna charge you you are, so you do you. And don't be Harold Gold's character about it. He wasn't cool. I wanna watch Airbud now though, so I might do that.